get better with some modding class. I find another cat to replace the one filthy killed. I don't know. I got told in chat that if I made it to the end of Act 1 with the cat still alive, I got an achievement, and I was really excited, and then about five minutes later, Filthy killed the cat by setting it on fire. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. I thought, I thought the dog I met might start following me around in its place, but he didn't. I think we'll, we'll keep trying to run with the Adjudicator. The Adjudicator, the Zoltan A, is that what this is? This has a very boring first uh, couple of systems, because all you do is wait for the Halberd Beam to power up and then kill the thing. Oh, that's a missile launcher. Okay, we'll do it this way. So maybe given that I'm going to be dying in Sector 1 over and over again, I should be... using a different ship. Why did I... That was not a very good start. Not a very good start. So you start in Divinity Original Sin 2 with a pet cat, I believe. I'm pretty sure getting a burst laser from the first fight is incredible. The bee has no shield and this drone would have killed you. Yeah, this one has a shield. This seems like a very easy mode ship, other than uh, a couple of things. The Zoltans moving around, messing with your power, is a little tricky for me to deal with. Uh, the fact that I only have one way to space the ship makes dealing with fires sort of weird. Just the layout in general makes it really difficult to deal with borders, I've found. Not difficult, confusing to deal with borders. The wind streak is at zero, <laughs> as usual. These guys have a fancy shield too. Important to have a spare power floating to prevent all your ship being depowered. Yeah, that's something that I have started valuing somewhat highly. I did that the wrong way around. To do it that way. This is pretty bad. I may have died already. Yeah, pretty sure I died already. Turn on the missile. And we can blow up their weapons. Nope, we missed. Okay, good run, good run. Uh... <laughs> My personal best is, uh, is very much zero. There's an airlock in the middle hallway, is there? Hold on. There's an airlock in the Holy shit, you're right. This is why I this is why I keep you guys around. Thank you for that. Switching to burst laser at the start of the fight might have helped. Could have. Perhaps. Okay, we got the bad half of that event. Um, 
So I installed a couple of mods. I installed a mod which shows how many jumps you have left before you have to leave the sector, which I think just should be in the base game. And I installed a mod which tells me what the dialogue options do. Because... I mean, once I have them all memorized, we can play without that. And maybe it will be more authentic or something. But I don't have them all memorized yet. And I don't want to have to read up on it on Wiki while I'm streaming. Plus fuel or hull damage. We'll risk it. Oh, I have to pay for the fuel. Well, that doesn't seem very good at all. Gonna make three more jumps before the store. I'm gonna try to play somewhat quickly. I'm learning the game and I'll learn the game faster if I get into more fights. So how do I play this? This is a very similar fight to the one I just lost. Although they don't have mind control, but it's like a pretty minor difference. Maybe this beam? Yeah, I think that's what we're looking for, is this one. We want to let it hit, get hit by another asteroid or something. Wow, they're just never hitting it. All right, we got one of the weapons. Doing it that way. Holy shit, we just got ruined. They still have a beam online, apparently. Come on. Okay, hopefully we survive long enough to get this dead, and then I think we do it this way. It's just going to be luck whether or not our shields are up when the beam goes off. I'm going to accept their surrender because I'm pretty sure they get another attack off on us otherwise. And then our shields are going to come up pretty soon. Come on. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually dying to the asteroids in the asteroid field. Should be good now. Shield is one of the least important rooms. Is it? What? In an asteroid field? With the beam weapon, I want to hit the shields and knock them out while the beam rakes over the other rooms, I'm pretty sure. That's why I've been prioritizing them. In a situation like that. This seems like a tough-ish fight. This one should be way easier. Yup, it's over. Never tell me. Yards. Put your guy on shield instead of engines when the overshield dies. Oh, I see what you guys are saying. None of these seem very relevant. I don't think I need to buy fuel right now. I don't think I need to repair right now. I think we're actually not doing anything. I'm gonna grab some dodge. Keep fighting. 
I like the idea of getting at least the, like, five dodge upgrades. They seem very good here. This is another really obnoxious fight. Okay, we went. Wasn't too bad, I guess. Piloting is cheaper dodge. Okay. Wait, is it? No, it isn't. It doesn't give you more dodge, does it? Unless you're not having a pilot. I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you more dodge. I'm going to ignore this distress beacon because it's not a very effective way to get to the exit beacon. For this fight, we have missiles, that thingamajig, no boarding. I don't know. This doesn't... Doesn't seem like there's much that's really interesting in terms of my decision making here. You're going to La La Land? I am glad that you did. Does it live up to expectations? Are your kids actually going to get to play with that or is that one for you? How's it going, Akatama? It's going to take a while before I understand whether something like this is good to take or not. I think they're going to shoot another missile at me if we don't. And it seems like a decent offer. I'm just going to accept. Holy shit. Let's go, like, open all the doors. I want to shut that, that. Fuck. I'm not doing this very well. There. We just opened all the doors. They'll die soon, right? Please? I think they died. <laughs> yeah, it's only if it's not manned fictitious. It's like 50% of your evasion total if it's unmanned when you upgrade piloting once. <laughs> they got a little freaked out. <laughs> Do they know what it is? So we can definitely make this jump. Should really be waiting for oxygen to fill up, but I don't want to. It was actually good not to, it turns out. <laughs> Holy shit. I used the hockey as well there. I actually feel pretty good about that. I 
I did a good job of using hotkeys to close the outside doors and open the doors to get oxygen into the room I was fighting in. <laughs> you explained to them that this was a, a mind control alien which was going to take control of their thoughts while they slept going to La La Land. <laughs> uh, Alright, exit. We actually have one more jump, right? Cheat engine speed hack is good for things like replenishing oxygen in the game. <laughs> yeah, but I'd have to like set up a hotkey to change the speed and stuff. That sounds like so much work. Oh no. Are they going to become the Elder's greatest champion? I had one more jump, but I wasn't able to use it. Rock controlled or Zoltan controlled? I've been to rock controlled once and their ships took a long time to kill basically. Go to Zoltan controlled. It seems like as a Zoltan ship, this should be like the thing I meant to do, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. Got an ion pulse. Doesn't seem to have actually done anything to me, fortunately. Is that just complete RNG? That's terrifying. That's insanely scary. What does this do? That's hacking. Hacking weapons, piloting shields and engines. Okay. Got rid of the beam weapons. We should be fine now. I feel like if I add the ability to speed my game up, I'm going to speed my game up and then die. I maybe need to protect myself from myself a little bit there. I'm trying out this evasion strat. Oh god, fuck, shit, close, close, open. Okay, I handled that one pretty okay too, I think. My engines got shot at some point. I'm gonna open the internal doors so that our oxygen can spread out proper. Oh, there's a breach. Do 
Doesn't seem like a problem. My shields have been down for the last forever. My doors are broken. Um... So we just got a little bit unlucky, maybe, that they hit our shields. And then there wasn't any way that I was ever going to get the shields back online, given how I'd chosen to deal with the borders, right? Move! <laughs> I don't think that there was. Nothing hit the shields? Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, that's my engine. Yeah, you're right. I just didn't turn them on. Okay. Well, pretty sure we played it perfectly. So, let's buy another bar of, bar of power so that never happens again. What happened is I walked through the shield room with somebody and so they were powered by his power for a second and then he left and they weren't anymore. Yeah? That's nasty. We don't want that to happen. I just have to get better at the game so that I understand when that's going on. Shields are the least important room. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't blame you guys for mutinying against me. I feel like I'm... Okay, so I'm not doing well yet, but yesterday and the day before, I was, like, legitimately um, suffocating my entire crew anytime that that happened. So, I don't know. Small steps, right? I should just be hitting four. I should have just hit four twice with the weapons. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Small steps, guys. Small steps. Mind control, drone control. A beam drown. <sighs> Again, I don't feel like any of these are things that we want. I might buy a little bit of fuel. Mind control, I think, would be great, but I don't think we can afford it. Not quite. Ooh, wait a second. We can. Okay, I'm going to grab mind control then. My control seems very awkward to use on this ship because I have to get somebody to this room to like see what's happening. You know? So maybe we start out like this. And then immediately after we mind control someone at the start, this guy has to like run to there or something. I don't know. Automated reloader is pretty good. Is it? I've never seen Dolphin Chemist buy that, I don't think. I base all of my opinions about like quality of things on whether or not I've seen Dolphin Chemist use them. How much does it cost to just upgrade that? 25 C area. Hmm. Oh, there's another store. Can go to a nebula first and then hit it up. I don't know what we could possibly do here with two scrap. Yeah, I, I don't know why we came here. Okay. Good play.
crushed it. When I'm going into an Ion Storm, I probably don't want to have somebody... Yeah, you know. Try juggling that when you aren't pausing the game. You can use some mind control on people in your ship. Yes, you can. I could have used it there. I could have only used it against one of the guys in the room with me, but I guess I should have. I don't remember what my hotkey for it is. No, that space is my crew. This is the crew teleporter. It's auto fire apparently. It's either is that X or C is mind control. No, I've changed all of my hotkeys, sweet tea. Light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. Okay. So if I go to a nebula, I can get one more jump in before we exit. want to attack the ship here it looks like and we just go for as many rooms as we can get i like that i bought mind control and then immediately headed straight into like five nebulae so i haven't actually seen somebody i can mind control since getting it what are they hitting oh they took out my mind control that's outstanding I unpowered my shields again. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Not the best. I might need... I might need a ship without Zoltans on it. Just to get started on. Maybe. Couldn't I assume someone is always in the cockpit? Like this cockpit? Oh, can I just mind control on an on an unseen room? I think I have to see the person to select them. I think. Go hang out with some NGs. I don't actually like these Zoltan sectors. Seem like they just have very scary enemies in them. I only take this if you have an ion, weapon, cloaking, or an NG crew member. Well, I don't. I believe you dialogue thing. See if we can get some scrap to head to the store with. I'm down to three fuel, actually. Okay. We got some fuel. Don't think there's any reason to hit the store up with four scrap. Let's give these guys some fuel. And we got small bomb. There's another store. 
gonna try to make my way back around to that star after six jumps, basically. Uh, definitely want to explore the asteroid field. Check got this distress beacon. It's a game worth buying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a very, very, very good game, Fat Fugazi. That was not a very fortunate roll. What do I have mind control for? Like, what am I... Why do I have it? Exactly. I should maybe play the game on pause for a while to learn how to use things. No, that sounds lame. Nothing here... Oh, did we lose? We may have just lost. I'm gonna have to use mind control to win this fight somehow. <laughs> so... They do have a med bay. We'll turn on the missiles. I'm gonna let them board with one and then mind control. Well, this will be sick. It'll work for sure. Are they going to board? Oh, they can't board right now. That's sort of interesting. Didn't work. Actually, it killed one. My oxygen is down. Oh, my mind control is down. Trixie Hobbits. Trixie, Trixie Hobbits. Oh my lord. Um, let's get our evasion back. You can see them. We want a small bomb there. I want to mind control this guy. Oh, it's not actually broken? Seems like maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going out on a limb here, but maybe I could have uh, mind controlled. I could have just missiled the shields and then mind controlled the guy to keep them down and use the, the beam to win. Here, Robo Jumper. The effect of mind control is too small. The effect of mind control is very unique, though, and applied properly, it can do really cool things for you in, like, turning on bio kills and things like that. Okay, how do we win? I don't want to have to use drones. That's too much. It's way too much. 
Jesus fucking Christ, what is this? We've got two different weapons? Artillery beam. Powers. A slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. 50 second cooldown. The hell am I going to do with that? That's not good, right? <laughs> that can't be good. Easiest way to win is to use borders. Well, what ship has borders? Also, have you seen how bad I am? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> the beam is unstoppable and has consistent reliable damage kappa. I see what I see what you're saying. Yeah, just going infinite lasers seems like it would be sort of my speed. Does this one have it too? Artillery beam. 40 second cooldown, oh boy. So when I look at this, it says I have a vic... I can't... I don't know what this means. The Osprey favors building defenses while you wait for it to charge. There's no way that you can do that. Is there? You start with Burst Mach 3? No, you don't. <laughs> it's not Burst Mach 3. Alright, let's try this out. Let's give it a go. I like that we have lots of different goofballs. I like different goofballs. I feel like we are going to get absolutely obliterated by any beam weapon ever. If I saw this ship and I had a beam weapon, I would be salivating. One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure you can hit six rooms there. No, probably only five. I just salivate as a natural state of being anyway. Important to see your dentist regularly because your salivary glands do, like, you know, put bacteria and stuff on your teeth. Cleanings every four months or so. Gotta keep your adult teeth your entire life. Do I have an NG crew member? I do. Remotely repair its targeting. Hey! We're off to a great start. So we can space things there, there, and there. This ship is so bizarre. Why would your pilot be here? Where is his windows? He needs windows to look outside. I've seen space shows. He can't see outside from there. How are you going to pilot a spaceship from the middle? That's not how this works. Nearby automated rebel scout has used a local satellite to deploy a virus. Oh, my sh fucking shields are down. Do we have to run? Possible we have to run here. Uh, all of my weapons are down. <laughs> how the fuck? How the fuck did Dolphin Chemist win this game? 
15 times in a row. How in the ever-loving fuck? With random ships. Like, I honestly... I don't know. Was there something I could have done to not die there? I actually... I don't know if it's possible for me not to die there. 